keeping a Charleston firefighter legacy strong 50 years and counting. Assistant Chief Raymond Lloyd started at the Charleston Fire Department on May 11, 1973 and went on to hold many positions, fight thousands of fires and coach hundreds of other firefighters to do the same. The city of Charleston declared May 11th as Assistant Chief Raymond Lloyd Day and also named him the Honorary Fire Chief for a day. Anna Harris spoke with him about Charleston's fire history and what he wants his legacy to leave behind. On May 11, 1973, Raymond Lloyd started his service to the people of Charleston. He was a fourth generation firefighter at Charleston Fire Department, and his son is continuing that legacy as one of their captains. He shares some advice his father gave him when starting his career. You do the best you can at the time that you can with the equipment you got, and you'll have no problem on the job. And uh, I've kind of lived by that. Lloyd served as an engineer, captain, and a battalion chief, which is also the position he held during the Sofa Superstore fire of 2007 that killed nine Charleston firemen. He says he's been to many bad fires, but this one was by far the most devastating. He was given the option to retire shortly after. I saw that there was a need uh, for some command staff to stay, to keep some consistency in the department. Um, and I knew that that's what I was called to do. He went on to serve many more years before retiring from the department in 2018. He took over as assistant fire chief of fire operations at Folly Beach Fire Department shortly after where he still works. Lloyd says he's watched this department progress immensely in safety and knows it will continue in the future. He tells his crews it's never the wrong time to do what's right. Uh, when I hear or see a fire engine, I'm always uh, puts a smile on my face and I always look to see who's on the rig. I look to make sure, you know, they're doing something uh, safe and, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm having a good time. In Charleston, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.